Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Yeah, we're hot already this, this afternoon, but we're not quite as warm as we were 24 hours ago. We're at 90 degrees right now. Yesterday at this hour, we were at 92. We also had a little bit higher dew point value. Right now, we're at 73. East wind comes in at about 7. Or rather, we have a little higher dew point value today. Because we have more moisture in the atmosphere, signified by a higher dew point, the atmosphere takes a little little bit longer to warm up. So I think our daytime high today might be just a, a little bit less than it was yesterday. It was warm yesterday, 96 degrees. 86 Wachula, 88 in Arcadia, 88 in Mayaka Parish. You've got 88, so do you in Bradenton and in Lakewood Ranch. Further to the south, Venice coming in at 89, 89, 88 in Inglewood, 89 as well in Northport and in Punta Gorda. So we are looking at a fair amount of showery activity over on the other coast already. There's a lot of available moisture in the atmosphere to work with. But what's missing today, if you look at the radar imagery here, is all that massive amount of rain showers and thunderstorm activity down in the southern tip of the state. We don't have that little packet of cooler air kind of moving across the state today like we did yesterday. So. Our thunderstorm activity is going to rely solely on the activity of this easterly wind flow pushing these showers and thunderstorms all the way across the state and the ability of our localized sea breeze to interact with that. Um, I think we'll probably have a pretty decent sea breeze today. It's uh, uh, probably going to start um, impacting our area over the next hour or two. The general easterly wind flow is a little bit lighter today, so that will give the our sea breeze a bit of better chance to kick start the showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. The only thing is that without that upper level support, we'll probably have a few less showers around. Over the next several days, we're going to see a little bit of a shift in our pattern, and the reason for that is we have been dealing with this easterly wind flow coming around the base of a high pressure ridge to our north. In fact, anytime you feel the wind at your back and you stick out your right hand, you'll be pointing right at the center of high pressure, such as the case here. But over the next several days, if you try that experiment, you'll notice something different, and that is this high pressure ridge will start sinking south. So as it does so, those showers that move all the way across the state riding on that easterly wind will not have the easterly wind to benefit from. So they'll be having a westerly wind. And what that means is it'll still be pushing the showers around, but just from a different direction. So the westerly wind will give you a chance at showers in the morning along the coast, and then it pushes all those showers toward the other coast as we head into the afternoons. So that by Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I think we'll have much less chance of rainfall during the afternoon hours and a little bit better chance during the early morning hours right along the coast. But for today and tomorrow, we still have those showers that move from inland areas toward the coast. That drift from the east to the west will continue on today and tomorrow. Warm afternoons and a fewer storms around, I think, today. But still, some of them could produce a fair amount of rainfall. The Forecast for the highest amount of rainfall, unfortunately, is exactly in areas that don't need it. Stalled frontal boundary, leftover moisture from that low pressure area. Again, Louisiana, Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, seeing some fairly heavy rainfall over the next several days. It's part of a frontal boundary that will help push that high pressure ridge for our area further to the south. West wind today, northwest wind this evening, switching back to the east by tomorrow. 40% chance of showers today, 30% over the weekend, down to 20% on Sunday, and then slightly cooler temperatures next work week. Scott?